The coronation of King Charles III is fast approaching and today on the Canary and Crown I'm going to break down the top five things that you need to know before you watch the coronation on May 6th. So let's get right to it. The first thing to watch the day of the coronation is going to be who is in attendance, who made the guest list. We know that King Charles could only invite 2,000 people to the coronation at Westminster Abbey, which is down from the 8,000 people that they jam-packed into the Abbey back in 1953 for Queen Elizabeth's coronation. So who got an invitation? Now you're much less likely to see celebrities and A-listers like you did at Harry and Meghan's wedding because remember, this is a state event. So you're more likely to see the kings and queens, prince and princesses from around the world, not only from the European nations of Greece, France, Spain, Norway, Luxembourg, Sweden, Belgium, and Monaco, but you will also see leaders from Japan, Dubai, Serbia, Qatar, Malaysia, Kuwait, and Bahrain, just to name a few. Also will be the leaders from the Commonwealth countries in attendance, along with dignitaries and high-ranking officials in the British government. So it will still be a who's who of London and of the world, but it will not be uh, A-list events. You will not see George Clooney or Oprah at the coronation. You will also see the royal family members, of course. They will be invited. Now, where they are going to be seated, that's the second thing we're going to look at. The second thing to watch on the day of the coronation is where everyone is seated in Westminster Abbey. If you look back from photos in 1953's coronation, you'll see that the seating arrangements are different than what we're typically used to in terms of, say, a normal royal wedding or a royal funeral or even the Commonwealth Day service that we just saw last month. So keep an eye on where people are located in the Abbey because they will be grouped and I'm guessing that the royal family members will be grouped together and then of course those that hold titles, government officials, they'll be all seated in different locations. But that's going to give us a lot of clues as far as hierarchy, relationships, and everyone's kind of place right now in the world. So it'll especially be interesting to see where Harry and Meghan are seated as we still don't know if they're going to attend, but if they do, where are they going to sit? So keep a very close eye on that. The third thing to watch on the day of the coronation is of course, what is everyone going to wear? Now the coronation is a almost once in a lifetime event for many people and it hasn't happened for over 70 years. So what is everyone going to be wearing? Like, how are they going to be dressed? We know that King Charles wants to modernize the ceremony, but I do think there's going to be some elements of traditional dress involved. And if you look back at the coronation in 1953, you'll see the robes that are involved. There's several different robes that the uh, monarch wears during the coronation. There's the parliament robe that we see, uh, we saw the queen wear in the opening of parliament, sometimes called the robe of state as well. Well, th that robe will be worn by the king when he enters into Westminster Abbey. And then in the past, there have been changing into several different robes. And there is a very special robe that the monarch wears at the moment that they are crowned. So they only wear that robe at crowning. And they also only wear St. Edward's crown at the moment of coronation. And that's it. You never wear it again. So it's really, really interesting. But as far as what is everyone else going to wear, it's hard to say. We know the men will Will probably be very traditionally dressed but the women I'm sure will have on beautiful gowns and I tried to take a look back at what people were wearing in 1953 and took some cues from Princess Margaret. I'm thinking that Princess Catherine will probably be um, following suit of something that Princess Margaret would have worn of course a beautiful gown and I am also going to take a guess that Princess Catherine will be wearing a very special tiara. I don't think it'll be a tiara that we have seen her wear in the past. I think she will actually get access to some of Queen Elizabeth's tiaras. I think that um, Camilla will definitely be open to uh, letting her daughter-in-law wear one of those. I don't know. We'll see. But I think that the occasion is right 
for that. And being that Princess Catherine is the next queen consort, I can see her getting first pick at all of the beautiful tiaras. And now as far as what everyone else will wear, I imagine that Princess Anne would be able to wear a tiara if she would like. Um, Sophie, the Duchess of Edinburgh, would now be able to wear a tiara. So um, definitely looking forward to seeing that and I'm sure that the gowns that they wear are going to be absolutely beautiful. The next thing to watch on the day of the coronation is the use of the gold state coach. Now this carriage was built way back in 1760 and has been used for every coronation since that of King George IV. Queen Elizabeth used this carriage on the day of her coronation back in 1953, but she said that the ride was horrible. She actually used it twice that day and she went on quite a long route so that she and Prince Philip could wave to as many people as possible. But this year at this coronation, the king is said to use a different mode of transportation from Buckingham Palace to Westminster Abbey. So he will likely still use a carriage, he as a nod actually, to his father, Prince Philip, since he was a carriage driver and enjoyed that very much. But they will use the gold coach on their way back from the Abbey to Buckingham Palace. So you will still get to see it that day, but because it's not very comfortable to ride in, they shorten the amount of time that it's going to be used. And finally, maybe the most important or most telling thing that you want to watch for on the day of the coronation is who will appear on the balcony. And I'm talking about the balcony appearance that will happen at Buckingham Palace after the coronation. We have no idea if it's going to be the entire royal family who will appear. Will it just be working royals who appear? Or will it just be the king, the queen consort, the prince and princess of Wales, and their children? We have no idea. And the king is not let on to who may be appearing. And so when we finally see who steps out, that is going to be very, very telling for us as to what may be going on behind the scenes and what the king is thinking about in the future. So keep a very close eye on that. If you love content like this and you want to learn more about the coronation, I have a great video that you can watch over here or here, <laughs> depending where you click. If you love this video and enjoyed it, I would really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribed. So hope to see you guys all very, very soon and take care.